So in case you all couldn't notice from the uh, the title and the thumbnail, I have decided for the very first time to play Breath of the Wild. First time I've ever played a Legend of Zelda game, so I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. Open my... My eyes are open! My brother-in-law really loves the Legend of Zelda series, and actually, a uh, a popular. My eyes are open. A popular YouTuber, a uh, streamer, yeah, a popular YouTuber slash streamer that I watch constantly. Wake up, Link. He recommended, like, he recommended that if I was to play Tears of the Kingdom. I need to play Breath of the Wild first, because from what I've seen for Tears of the Kingdom footage, it looks beautiful. So I thought about giving it a shot, but he told me to play Breath of the Wild first, so I'm having to do that. And I don't know what I am getting myself into. Hello? Link? I guess this would technically be my first time controlling Link outside of uh, Smash Brothers. Holes. Oh, press the left stick to crouch. Camera controls. Jump. Action. Okay. That is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Okay, a Sheikah slate. Wait, isn't the Sheikah... I remember playing as Sheik in Smash Brothers. Here is tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Oh, chests. Well-worn trousers. Equip weapons, armor, and other gear in the plus menu. Old shirt. Okay, I guess that's a start. Now I see what people were talking about with... <laughs> Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. I remember when Sonic Frontiers was first announced and gameplay was being uh, shown. When you see the boost circle... A lot of people were saying, this is just the Sonic version of Breath of the Wild. Now that I see that stamina circle for Link, now I see what everyone was talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Link. You are the light, our light, that must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. 
Okay. Are you done talking so I can go? You? Hi. What is... What are those circles in the, uh... What are those circles in the bottom... Actually, I can't see the bottom right because my webcam is in the way of it. Whoa. And the title is in the bottom right, which is, once again, covered by my webcam. Okay, I'm moving that. Right, maybe that'll work? Uh, right here? Is this where the marker is at? Place the Sheikah slate in the pedestal. I am so lost. Pika Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Excuse me? I know that tower because they made it into a stage for Smash Brothers Ultimate. The Great Plateau Tower. Who sets foot in the shrine? I am Oman Aru. I don't know. A pedestal right here for the Sheikah slate. A stealing rune. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnesis. Grab onto a metallic object. Grab on metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Oh. So, wait, what? Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of that for a bit. What is that? I don't know what that is. Is that a baby guardian or something? That, that worries me a little bit. I can't do it while I'm on the freaking thing. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, come here. There's a chest up there. Oh. Hey, I got a bow. Proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman El, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk blessed with the sight of goddess Helia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. Your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Ilya, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Dun, 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 dun. Driven to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess Helios, uh, may the goddess smile upon you. Okay. Okay, 
you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabaj. In the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. Bomb! Yes! The remote bomb. Oh man, I remember making so many freaking computers blow up with that on Smash Brothers. Bombs that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. There are both round and cube bomb. There are both round and cube bombs. The which whichever best fits the situation. And yet for Smash Brothers, they, they stuck with the round. Hinge runes. Yeah, I kind of figured that one out. Fields is left. Weapon is right. Rune is top. Oh, Lord of Mercy. Oh, I'm hitting, I'm hitting ZR, it's R to throw. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Traveler's Claymore. A basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can knock enemies' shields right out of their hands. In Inventory is full. Hold on. Um... that is there a way to sell my items because I don't know I would I hope there is a way to sell stuff that I don't need I don't think I'm doing so good for this trial, but hey, at least I'm I'm actually having fun for a Legend of Zelda game. Ooh. 
beautiful, 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 beautiful. Perfect. Amber. A fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. That is a powerful bomb, for sure. Hello? Your resourcefulness is overcoming this and overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Now I have two spirit orbs. And the goddess smile upon you. And I still don't know how to increase the number of hearts I have. What the hell? To who, to you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Oa Dame. In the name of Goddess Helia, I offer this trial. Stasis trial. Because <laughs> authenticate healing rune. I just smacked my frickin' controller. Stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. Stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes, making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Traveler Shield, a sturdy shield loved by many an adventurer. It is made of animal hide and sturdy wood, and is best suited for to defending against weak monsters or animals. Iron Sledgehammer. Okay. Okay then. 
Uh, wait a second. There you go. Wow. Okay. That's going to be useful. Boastfulness and overcoming this day, uh, yep. Name of God is Helia. I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And right now my stomach is growling. I am hungry. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Kit Namut. In the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. Rionis? Rionis? What the heck is Cryonis? So far it's been... So far there's the magnetism, there's been the bomb, there's been the stasis. Okay. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. It builds ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. So I can make an ice pillar originally, and then once I make it to the other side, I can use it on the ice pillar again to make it go away. Got it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wait, I've seen <laughs> I've seen clips of uh Oh. It broke at the right time too. That's where I originally spawned for this. That is the fourth shrine already. Not bad. Let me guess, you're gonna say this pretty much resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Yep. In the name of Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb.
May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> well done there, young one. Oh, voice acting. Now, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> king Rome, the last king of Hyrule. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Oh! And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Let me hear it. I'm curious. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Uh oh. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The a signs prophecy. of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Mm. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> that, it was they who that freaking uh, hollow power of these ancient this... relics. Uh, I forgot years the name. ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. Link and Zelda. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. Oh no. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived. To face Ganon alone. 
think you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Damn. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts. Uh oh. As well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. I... I'm awestruck. Hmm. Here's a paraglider, just as I promised. <laughs> And that you received from the king on the great plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use. That you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding the area. And hmm. everything. Think. I rule. Damn. Main quest, destroy Ganon. Yep. Soldier's bow. Oh, I need to drop one of them. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Paraglider. Okay. That that's a lot of fun right there. I think I, I'm going to save there. So far, I think I'm give or take about two hours into the game so far. 
Now I see why people like it so much. This is actually pretty fun. And for my first ever Zelda game, I gotta give it some credit. This, this is, wow. Controls were a little bit tricky for me to get down at first, but eventually I managed to get the hang of it. So I this probably won't be this probably won't be the only time I record Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll the next time I make a video is probably I don't know, when I get to, when I feel like I'm getting near to the end of the game and I'm ready to take on Ganon. But for now, this is all I can do, and I'm gonna play the rest of the game off camera, build my build up my health and my stamina as much as possible. And with that said and done, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.